This is your partner speaking. Welcome to the DHC Network. And today we are back on our Let's Plays on Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. We are now on part 26. So last time we met two convicts who were who was trying to get rid of the posters and roads, and we also met Angelo Bronte for the first time. We end up getting Jack Marston back. And lastly, we met the final gunslinger Black Bell, which mission was so awesome. So in today's video, we're gonna go, we're gonna meet this guy right here. I think he was originally a stranger, but I think we met him somewhere. So um, furthermore, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? Let's talk to this guy. You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother. A penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. We're gonna d donate. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. He's not about Dutch. The, the thing is, I'm, well... Poverty will always be with us, but slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Investigate the shop. So we're going to the fence. Wow, look at all these people. Oh my god, there's so many people around here. My goodness. Just make sure I don't harm anyone. Let these people walk through and we should be okay. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of um, types of people around here from Americans to All right, let's go to the uh, the fence What the hell Feel free to browse shall do Looking for anything in particular let's question the guy a bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy what? We're gonna threaten he's he's holding down where are who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir. I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Okay, open the bookcase. So, which one is it? Here? Now let's open this door. Uh oh. It's crazy there's stuff like this exists. This one I do I don't remember doing this mission. Hello? Gajate, gajate. Let's take out the lantern. We're good. it's too dark in here. I hope this is not as bad as the um the shot keeping rope. Not the shot the the gunsmithing roads. Let's free these people. This is horrible. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Mm. Let's free this guy. Please. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. I, I can sense that monks get... 
that just got called back up. So yeah, did not. Come and make. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. Promise. Wait, where did that shopkeep go? Come on. You'll be safe soon. He's gonna call backup, so I have my guns ready in case he try to shoot me. And he try to bring his phonies with me. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. I know, so that's I'm I'm pretty disturbed about that. So yeah, I never done that mission ever. I never met this guy. That's pretty disturbing. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's well. They are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you. I, uh, here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. I'm ready to give it to the poor. We don't need it. To the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Alright, so we got a bronze. Uh, let's see how... I think you guys like, took my time. Complete within two... Yep, find the cat without threatening the store owner. How am I supposed to do that? Unless I watch GTA series videos. So, um... So, other than that, I guess... That's pretty much the mission. That was actually interesting. But, let me guys tell you something. I didn't show this on, on video, but, um... If you ever go to Rhodes and you get to rescue somebody, do that. And you get a free Lancaster. It's going to be disturbing as that. So, um, I guess we'll head straight to Shady Bell. So, I'll see you guys over there. Alright then, so here we are at Shady Bell. And there is a letter in Arthur Morgan's room. Let's read it. Who is it from? Let's check it out. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. So, it's Mary Linton again, and it's got the work that she is in Sing the Knee. So, remember, this mission is uh, missable. So, I didn't get a chance to do this mission when I first played this game. So, um, let's go ahead and head back to Sing the Knee and meet up with Mary Linton over there. So, let's head going, shall we? All right, then, so here we are back at Saint Denis. We're here at the Grand Hotel or Hotel Grand. We're gonna meet up with Mary Linton. So let's ho go ahead and vi see what's going on. What she what she wants. Where is she at? Arthur, Arthur, up here. You came. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? 
I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Alright, for this choice, I think not helping Mary on this one is pretty... I guess it's canon, but... You came all this way. And I think we're gonna help her because there's more to it and there's gonna be something special at the end. And it's not what you guys think. And it looks like it's slowly starting to help Mary, so we're gonna do this help. Me. Not him. Yes, we're doing it for Mary. So you will? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. All right, so some of you guys. What do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but. It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Mister? I hope there's no more dialogue. So anyways, so you guys are thinking, why did I just help Mary? Because, you know, I guess some people say it's not canon, but the thing is, there's more to it. And plus, you're gonna find something by the end of the game. Something that a lot of people probably miss. I missed this myself because I missed these these missions from my first playthrough of the game. You can't even find it on my um, my older videos, even though I got them all. They're all set to private because you know they're unwatchable. I do not recommend you guys watching on my Red Dead Redemption 2 old playthrough. It's just I don't recommend it. So this must be the stables. This is the place. Now we're gonna meet Mr. Let me Linton. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. 
What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna say, why are you laughing with the HC? It's because the, the more times that Mary says, when she says, oh, Arthur, I just can't stop laughing. Imagine this, a, a drinking game. Every time Mary Linton says, Old oh, Arthur, that's one shot of glass. <laughs> a vodka, tequila, where we drink. All right, so we, so right now we are tailing um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gillis, Mary Linton's father, who's a complete scumbag, and he's and he doesn't, he really can't stand Arthur dating Mary Linton, but he, that's not the real reason why he's. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. Okay, where's follow the smell? Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, he went inside those doors, I believe. Is he around? Don't lose sight of him. Okay, I lost him. He hit between the crates. He went this way too. Oh, I lost him. We lost Mr. Gillis. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. <laughs> I just can't help it. When she says, oh, Arthur, I should be, I'll be drunk right now. The number of times she says, oh, Arthur. I just, <laughs> it's hilarious. But yeah, so it looks like we're starting from the beginning, so we gotta keep an eye on Let's go to first person. I haven't played first person throughout this whole entire oh, let's play. Alright, make sure we get a good a good distance for him. So yeah, um so yeah, um <laughs> I can't talk right just I can't stop thinking about it, but we have to keep this guy um we have to really get keep an eye on Mr. Get uh oh, he's throwing up. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Okay, Just look. Follow the smell. Arthur, come on. All right, so you went through those doors. Between those crates. Oh, he went that way. Okay, I thought he went inside or something. So he went this way. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! So yeah, Mr. Gillis is a scumbag. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. Hey, yeah, this guy, th there's a lot wrong with this guy. He likes to gamble, he likes to get drunk and all that. So, n the worst he part is he... Lift down that alleyway. What's he doing? We're gonna... Find out. All right, where's he at? He went this way. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. All right, we're just slowly... Slowly follow him without getting caught. How he doesn't stop and look back? That'd be the worst case scenario. 
I think they, no, I don't think this game does that. I think it was in L.A. Noir that does that. So we gotta go ACOG, um. Oh, let's see what's going on here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was yeah, mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a I've least to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. So, Miss, Mr. Gillis has has sold Mary Lynch's mother's brooch. That's a really scummy move right there. Like, who will do something like that? Hold her right there. Wait, where's... Now we're gonna follow that cart. I mean the wagon. I said cart. Hey, stop that coach. Where's my horse at? If I lose it, cause sometimes my horse can act stupid sometimes. Or maybe I should have stole someone else's horse. Okay, where's the ho where's my horse at? We gotta hurry up. Come on, horse. Or she gonna catch up to that wagon. So yeah, it's a really scummy move that Mr. Gillis did something like that. That's why Arthur has some hatred towards him. You Even though... Damn coach. Not only that... Okay, I was gonna say was not only that, but... Even though Mr. Gillis has some hatred towards Arthur because he's an outlaw. But I think Mary should just laugh. Why did she just follow Arthur? I think it's because um, Arthur doesn't want to put her in danger like that. So you gotta stop that coach. Oh crap! What the hell was that? Arthur! How did you get distracted by a bird? Okay, hurry up. That was annoying. I thought you could yell at the, the wagon or something. Ugh, it's getting foggy. I don't like that. I hate the fog in this game. It's too dense. Way denser. Th it's way denser than San Andreas. Yeah, you can't interact with the wagon, so. We we'll have to wait for it to stop or something. Do I have to shoot? But we can't, because I don't want, um. Mary Lynn says he wants to harm anyone, so... We have to do this as a good guy. This should stop soon. How long is this thing gonna keep moving? I think I, th I don't want to shoot the horses. Oh, I think this is the part that they should go off or something. Yeah, I think they have to stop sometime. All right, it's now making a left. Wait, where is that guy that um, Mr. Gillis sold the, the brooch to? Can I just hijack this thing? Can I just do that? Let's try that. I think we could. What am I doing? There you go. What the hell? There you go. We stole that wagon. Drive to a dissoluted spot, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I play like... Uh-oh. Gotta yeah, be careful. So yeah, the reason why... Uh, okay, it took so long because um, i never done this mission. So I'm very new to this. Um, 
No, he did not. His daughter did. Ugh, I can't see with this fog. Alright, let's let's stop right here. Oh, there's no alligators nearby. Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? That's a lot. Let's um I guess we'll buy it. we have a lot of money anyways. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Nah, you wouldn't. So, anyways, let's head back to Mary. But it's still a scummy thing that Mr. Gillis did, so, um. It's just unacceptable. I feel bad for Mary, but at the same time, she put herself into the situation. She's the one who put her brother in, in the other situation, too, with the cult. It's just unbelievable, though. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Come on, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. We're gonna accept. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, she has a point. That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is a this is a new activity. I don't. I never got to go to the theater in this game ever. Well the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just start and not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. 
I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. You know what guys, I think I, I'm going to edit this part out because I know this is going to be a long time so I'm just going to enjoy the show while you guys wait till the end so I'll see you guys at the end of the show. Fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. All right, let's see. I got a silver. I wonder how did I do? It's probably because I got a checkpoint. So catch the wagon and take it to the... Yeah, so yeah, if I knew how to catch the wagon faster, then um, I could have got a gold on this one. So yeah, unfortunately, I have to wrap this up. I know this mission is focused on Mary Linton's father and all that. It's just, it's, it's a very long mission. And pretty much it. I guess the all the all part... On the next part, we're probably gonna, we're gonna continue the main story. So, um, yeah. But the theater, though, that that was actually interesting. It was actually entertaining for myself. I think you could go to the theater and read that online, if I'm correct. So, um, I don't know what. I don't know that. Let's go ahead and wrap this up right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here, my subscribe. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 Part. 26 yet yeah, part 26 mr. Gillis so as always thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video and welcome to the DHC network this is your partner speaking signing out